Yeah, 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 it's a boy Big Spree. I hear what luck. Uh -huh. A hard female up and coming rapper. She says she rolling with SSP now. I see the same thing, you understand? So it's official. Let's know something about you. Okay, well, my name is really Akila Chats. <laughs> you understand? But my rapper name is um, Lucky. And now that I'm officially signed with SSP, you understand what I'm saying? So there's a lot more work putting in than, than the usual than the usual lucky that you've seen before over the years. Like you know, you will see one music now and then a couple of years you will hear from Lucky and then you know that's a whole different different thing gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Alright. So let us know what kind of music is deal with? Well, you will rap. You know, I write all types of music. I mean I'm a poetic writer, just as my mom, because my mom is a poetic writer. Alright. And then my father himself had a had a band. That he had when he was young. I we run DMC, you know, back in the days, you know, that fella that I had my crowd here. So, you know, that was a genetic thing that passed on to me. So, I mean, music is in my blood, it's in my vein. It is taller me now, but it's hard for me to just do something and not rap, right. and not sing, or not, you know, I not, do something now. And that's what you say. Yeah. So, you have any videos on YouTube or anything like that? Well, right now, I really don't do it. You understand? But it's SSP, you never know what can happen. <laughs> they know what happened. No, they never know. They know what, what happened. Happen is SSP. I mean, <laughs> apart from that, a lot of people have been calling me and telling me to sign and, and you know, come with a screw and come with a crew. And as a person, I don't really abide by the rules. You understand? It's not that I don't really follow rules, but I just look like abiding by rules. So when somebody give me a rule, I'll, I'll be like, you know, nah, I'll fall back and just watch that. Like, Alright, you know, when I link with this man, it was just a different connection in the sense that he wasn't cocky, he wasn't tacky, he wasn't like, you know, this big time producer saying, well, you know, well, boy, fuck you, I ain't the game so long, you know, so I never hear about you, the fuck you calling, you understand know, so what I'm saying? Right. I mean, I link up Bang with Bangham through Facebook and all of that because Bangham is one of my best fucking artists of all times. Real nigga. Nem, like, Nem for real. <laughs> you understand? I mean, people have their own choice and own flavor and own taste and thing. I can't yeah. tell you what to choose as, a, as an artist. But, you know, you gotta appreciate what's in your country first time. But before you can life up to send them. Yeah. Because I always tell people, you know, all them radio, radio um, announcers and them. 50 cents and Tupac, and nobody listening to that 94.1. Nobody listening to 96.1. These people not listening to them. Shit. So when you play their music and how we underground, yeah. underground rappers and common rappers are not playing our music, how you think we're going to appreciate you? You understand what I'm saying? We're not. But <laughs> as a rapper, I learn to appreciate what I have. And the local rappers that I really look up to, right. like, them, them. Right. that's my normal bang one fucking well. bang on. Uh, C4. You like C4? Yeah! Shout out to C4. C4 all the fucking way though, man. I mean, right. when I was younger and stuff, C4 used to come by us and freestyle and things. So me and C4 have history together. Alright, true. Because so like, you know, I just know that nigga. Me and C4 have history together. Right. And that's about it as female rap. Because I ain't seen no female rap. But I mean, alright, alright. I'm gonna show you some shorty rap videos. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. But for now, you know, yeah. I don't really know about much female rappers, but I hope to link up with a few. Alright, so how long you was rapping for? Then, uh, I'm rapping for like a year, about 10 years. 10 years? Yeah, just freestyling, bro. Alright, so you come out of the kind of G unit era? Um, like I wouldn't say like G unit era because G unit wasn't. Because 10 years ago it was 2004 and I thought I was running the, running yeah, the show. When I was running it, I, I wasn't thinking I wanted to. So we was listening to it in 2004. In 2004 I was listening to Nas. Uh, which album? I was listening to um, Jay-Z when the whole beef with Nas and Jay-Z was into that shit. Yeah. Like 50 cents and I wasn't in wasn't on my mind. Alright, sure, yeah, sure. So I mean, 50 cents I went, a few good bangers, yeah. Your props to that, you know. The first album right, was hard. Yeah. yeah, the first album was hard, but then, then fall back on his boots. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's left the scene, you understand what I'm saying? Aye. And then, I mean, um, after listening to Nas and JC, I become an educational rapper. You know, I just don't want, before I used to spit like, you know, talk about gangsta flick and you, you a daydream and now it's just like the reality of lucky. So most times you hear me talking about, you know who I am, a tall boy, because that's who I am. Yeah. And I don't hide my identity. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, that means they like chicks. Well, 
you love to see. <laughs> That's a political question, I'm not gonna answer that. <laughs> That is love to see. I like chicks. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, working with makes me sense. I mean, it's good. When I call him, he call me, introduce me to people, people who never know nothing about Lucky. Mm -hmm. And you know, he pushed me up. You know, I wasn't expecting that when I come to the battle, he was like, nice Lucky, you know. Yeah. You know, made me feel like ah, I die somebody, you know, that kind of way now. Yes, you know. <laughs> he was like, that is Lucky. And then, you know, it had a big thing with all the big artists like T Fred. Oh, I forget T Fred, like. Oh my gosh. Tiff, if you ever watch this video, I sure you remember that first mix if he was doing where he was working on that building. You know, I've been a fan since day one, I always remain a fan. You know what I'm saying? And call me up and tell me they doing some work. Come check them. They're red. Everybody, everybody in the building and I, I felt so welcome. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Do you have any other local rappers you know, like to collaborate with or do any videos or music or anything with? Apart from the rappers that I just called? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't really listen to anybody good to say well, I would want to work with them. Because right. I just can't, I mean, it's a hustle, but I don't want to give myself that image to say I would come in anybody. Alright, And now that I no, signed, I feel you, I feel you. And now that I signed to SSP officially from today, I just can't be on the garbage. <laughs> Someone <I'm> saying, <laughs> I don't listen to your stuff first and, and yeah, yeah. determine whether or not. <laughs> so anything before we go? Any other little way what the fans to know? What I want the fans to know. You know that lucky is back there. Fully fine. I ain't going no fucking way. But you my eyes. Going nowhere. I lucky is back! A lot of fucking lyrics. <laughs> you know what Shit. we wanna do? Let's do some club joints for the greatest, just some, you know, like real, 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 real joints to have right. the ladies and them pumping and all of that. You understand what I'm saying? I don't mind working like Patrice Roberts because I find she's a good artist. Alright, so I can have rap and soca mix. Yeah. Alright. It's a little bit of rap that makes a soca. What do you call that soca or mocha? What do you say you drink? <laughs> a drink of vodka. I drink the man who never goes to sleep. Walks all the time down for one of the what do you know what you're saying? It's the English channel. What you like for anything? I'm so funny because my eyes look for me and my wheat is gone. Ah, my wheat is gone. Catch me there already. <laughs> That's a wrap, you know? SSP in the building, we here all day. And people, I don't want to be signed. I'm already signed to SSP. And loyalty is the best thing that you could ever have. You understand what I'm saying? It's not, you know, that's my boy from day one. Um, Big up, Big Neil. I was my first producer before Shines and that was his shit. But I'm officially signed to SSP. Alright, shit. Ah, lucky in the building is one. We out cheer. <laughs>